bringing you a clear, accurate forecast. Working for you in the KLBK Storm Track Center. Here's Chief Meteorologist Nikki D. Ray. Today was one of those days that we don't typically see here around West Texas. We haven't seen anything like this since 09. And I mean, we're dealing with major winter weather, but take a look at this cute photo. I love how they're all covering up their nose and their mouths. And it's, what is this? Is Darth, Vader? Darth Vader. Sorry guys, you know I don't watch a lot of movies, but aren't they adorable? Now this is something I can more so relate to. Take a look at this particular photo. Snow angels, kind of reminds me of myself, such an angel I know. But just a lot of fun out there in the snow. And you can tell by their arms, I mean, this is pretty dense and thick when it does come to that snowfall. Now, as far as seeing any more of that snow, it has quickly begun to push off towards the east. And it's going to continue to push eastward as we head into the next several hours. And in fact, our blizzard warning has been expired and our high wind warning has also been expired. So all of this, we're handing it over to our neighbors to the east. And we are going to be dealing with some nice conditions in the form of seeing that sunshine and feeling that sunshine, but it's going to cause everything to melt and it's going to cause for quite some trouble as we head into the overnight hours and into tomorrow. So here's what's happening. This is a pretty large system that came through. Blizzard conditions all across West Texas continue to push its way off towards the east and then we're even dealing with severe weather. Mississippi, Mississippi State, it's in Starkville. They're dealing with a tornado warning right now. So this particular system is not potent just in the way of high winds and snow, but also in the way of intense thunderstorms and tornadic activity. But you know, the atmosphere really just always wants to even those temperatures out. And for some quite some time, we've had really cool air to the north and we've stayed really warm, especially around the entire state of Texas. But that's why this system has been so brutal to us because it's really cooling us off. Temperatures right now 35 degrees here in the hub going down into Houston at 61, but we will all begin to mediate those numbers as we head into the next 24 hours. Temperatures across the board, extremely chilly out there. Seminole being one of the spots not as chilly, 42 degrees. They also didn't see as much snow around Gaines County, only a few flurries. So they're able to really appreciate that snowfall. It's not having, I mean, excuse me, that sunshine, so it's not having to use the energy to melt the snow. Rather, it's warming up the surface. To put everything into perspective, it's not gonna take much. Yesterday, temperatures, Remember, 70 degrees. We are 33 degrees cooler right now in the central locations than we were this time yesterday. 34 over into Childress, Snyder, 36 degrees cooler. Even into Seminole, where they didn't see as much snow, they're still 26 degrees cooler. So major difference, not only in the way of our temperatures, but our wind speeds. Winds are really ramped up today, and they're still staying rather high as we head into the evening. They're out of the northwest, sustained at 26 miles per hour in the city, but much better than what they were earlier. Earlier, they were around 40 to 45 miles per hour sustained. Now, these winds, they're going to continue to stick around with us as we head into the evening hours, but they will slowly begin to push off into the rolling plains, and all of it will begin to lighten up as we head into the overnight hours. So, kids won't be as frightened as they were waking up in the middle of the night last night around the 3, 4 o'clock hour with the howling winds and all of that heavy snowfall, but the winds aren't staying gone for long. As we head into tomorrow, we will have those winds return. They will be starting along the Texas, New Mexico state line in the afternoon, but check it out. This time they're out of the south southwest, so we're going to be drawing in some moisture as well as some warmer conditions, so a lot of melting will begin to take place tomorrow. Our storm system continues to push off towards the east. We are clearing out across the board, and as we do clear out, we are going to warm up but then everything refreezes as we head into the overnight hours. So this is a mixed bag when it does come to good and bad news. You've got to be careful. Tomorrow morning temperatures obviously below freezing everywhere. This is the actual temperature. It's going to feel like we are in the single digits majority of the viewing area, but we will warm up as we head into the afternoon hours with temperatures getting very nice, especially as we head around noon, 35 degrees. I mean, we're considering that nice since it is above freezing, getting up to 43 by the afternoon. Now locations that did not see as much snow as others will warm up quite a bit further, getting into the 60s down towards the southern extent. And then you head up to the north like Toya and Demet, where they saw around 12 inches of snow is going to stay up quite a bit cooler. We've got to work on the melting before we can work on warming up the ground and the atmosphere around it. So here's what's happening. you got to love West Texas. If you didn't like today, you're going to start to like tomorrow, and you're really going to like it as we head on into the rest of our week. Wednesday is going to be a windy day out there, but we're just drawing in 
some very nice conditions and some warmer weather, especially as we head into the weekend with those temperatures getting into the 60s, flirting with the 70s by Sunday and Monday. That's going to feel real good. It is. After sure today. It is. Yes, <laughs> but still be careful. Yes. Please be careful on those roadways. A lot of slick spots. It's going to turn into black ice and just if extremely you don't have to get out. Don't. No, schools are already being delayed. Yep. The majority of them around two hours. Stay home, start a fire. In the Eat fireplace. sloppy joes. You've been wanting some Hush. sloppy joes. I'm so hungry. hungry. We're going to talk about food for a while, yeah. all right? Hey, no, we'll have more on the weather coming yes. up here in yes. just a little bit. Thanks we thank you very much, uh -huh. Nikki Diva. Coming up.